Hey friends, welcome. This is Gonzo. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I know I haven't posted for a while, um, but I've been working on this, on getting this skid together. So this skid is going to be the control system for my tent. It's going to be recording all of this various data like air quality, temperature, moisture, uh, humidity, and it's also going to uh, house all of the um, all of the components um, that I need uh, to operate the tent, like the exhaust fan. Um, these are all filters, water filters. That's a reverse osmosis filter. Um, and this is a high pressure pump. Um, so I'm going to be using RO water and uh, this is a high pressure tank. Um, so I'm gonna have reverse osmosis water going into my tent at high pressure. And all of this is going to be controlled. Uh, it's automated and controlled uh, via home assistant. These are my solenoid valves. They're all connected to that relay, connected to that ESP32, which is connected to home assistant. So I'm going to have um, not only like, it, I'm, not only am I going to be able to access all of these controls like um, through home assistant, but I'm also going to be recording all of this data. So temperature, CO2, um, moisture, humidity. These are moisture sensors. It records like the moisture of the of the grow bed. I got two of them here. They're wireless. Very very useful. Um, I'm also going to be recording the whole grow. So there'll be a security camera up here, recording everything. Um, and I'm going to be experimenting with. Um, new products that I'm getting, uh, products that come from a company called AEA, which is run by uh, an agronomist named John Kempf, probably one of the leading agronomists in the world today, who has a very in-depth understanding of plant nutrition and plant physics and plant health, plant disease. And he's utilizing all of these um, all of these understandings, concepts um, to grow to grow some of the most healthiest plants you've ever seen um, without using fertilizers or pesticides. He's really an incredible guy. Um, so check him out and, and ch look into his products. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna be experimenting with his pro products and there's kind of two different components. It's like the, the Biolog biological inoculations. So I'm gonna be using his biological products to inoculate my grow beds and um, the starting seeds. And then next um, are the micronutrients and the macronutrients, which are um, injected into the plants through, um, through foliar sprays. So I'm gonna have like a, a sprayer up here which will spray the plants, the, the leaves, with these nutrients, um, I think about on a weekly basis. Um, and also, so, so to analyze how all this is working, um, John Kempf uses something called plant sap analysis, which, um, which takes the leaves and you, you, you send them to a company that does this analysis and you can see what nutrients are getting into the plants, what nutrients are lacking, rather than just looking at the soil. So often you can have the proper nutrients in the soil, but they won't be getting absorbed into the plants. And there are a lot of various ways to, to make that happen. Um, utilizing soil biology, for one, is, is a great one. But um, also, just if you have a shortage of molybdenum in the plants, for example, it can lead to all of these cascading problems. So you can address these kind of systemic issues with very, very precise and specific nutrients. So that's um, something that John Kemp is doing and something that I'm trying to, to learn from him and incorporate into my practice. So not only am I going to be utilizing these products and monitoring all this data and recording it, but I'm also going to be doing um, microscopic biological assessments of the soil. So I'm gonna be taking soil samples um, on a regular basis and looking 
looking at the soil in my microscope to see how much, you know, what kind of biology is there and how much of it is there. And I'm going to be recording this and adding it to my database. So eventually I'm going to have these two, these two beds, which are identical. Yeah. The soil is, is identical in both of them and I'm going to be running experiments. So, um, I could be, uh, utilizing some high quality compost in one and seeing what is the effect on plant growth. Um, and in the control, there will not be um, that additive. Uh, or I might use, um, I might run some experiments on the micronutrients, for example. So that's what's, um, what's coming up. And this is where I'm at now. I still have a lot of work to do here. I have to get the irrigation set up. All these filters have to be, um, I have to run lines through all of these. Um, and I'd like to show you my Home Assistant app um, as well. So, uh, and, and sort of my, uh, my, uh, my interface to my garden because uh, that's, that's been awesome as well. If you, if you don't know what Home Assistant is, uh, check out LED Gardener. Um, he is, he's, he's the one who got me into Home Assistant and uh, it's, it's really a cool app. It's basically something where you can integrate all these different products into one thing. So, you know, I control my bedroom lamps with them. Uh, you know, it, it, it monitors CO2 and temperature. I, I can control these relays and solenoid valves. Um, you know, all of this I can control from one place and run automations. So it's all centralized into a, like a singular app. And then you can customize your dashboard to make it look however you want. You know, you could have like a splash screen that just shows you, you know, the historical temperature. Um, you could have, you know, a feed into the uh, security camera of your garden, whatever, you know? So check out Home Assistant as well. Um, highly recommended. Anyways, thank you guys for being patient. The project has been slowed down because of this thrip and aphid infestation I got. Uh, and since it's in my garage, you know, it's kind of problematic. I had to put these beds outside and let them roast in the sun for a while. So hopefully uh, I can, I can uh, manage this with these new products. Um, by inoculating the soil with all this good biology, perhaps the aphid and thrips will tone down. Um, anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, uh, comments, suggestions, uh, leave them in the comment section. Subscribe, like it, and thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you so much. All right, take care, y'all. Gonzo out.